What is up, peeps? Following TCG here, I'd like to welcome you back to another video, and today we have some Pokemon TCG gameplay. Uh, I am back. Uh, did you miss me? <laughs> um, I wasn't. I didn't have a uh, video uploaded yesterday because I attended the BTS concert. But I'll, before I get into that, uh, let's just go into what we're doing in this video. We are playing a Magmortar deck list. I just built this deck right now so the concept of the deck is to go for kiawe onto uh magma start whacking things with fire blaster discarding energy get to it bring the energy back and then just roll like that <laughs> take it from there really uh, i as i said i just built this deck so i don't know if this deck is going to work but it's built on the concept of using a heavy one prize attacker so it's similar to the same strategy in ho -Oh, except it's with an evolution pokemon but that pokemon is a, a one prize attacker so um it's, it's quite an interesting concept in itself. Is it going to work? I don't know. Again, I just looked at it and went, why not try? You could one-shot, plus its ability gives a burn. So if it gets hit, um, that's extra damage there. Um, oh, yeah, I can play the stadium. Now, I, I didn't play any stadiums in this list. Uh, I just didn't have enough space. But I can try and get some stadiums. I've, I've got what it's called. Something Mountain? I'm, or, I'm not sure. It's the one that... Um, I actually haven't got any copies of it, unfortunately, because I have to trade for them. But it's the one that prevents Burn from going away, effectively, right? Um, so I can uh, go for that in this list, because if you get Burn, then, of course, they can't get rid of it. So they pretty much are taking a big risk. Um, anyway, got my cup of coffee. Feeling a lot better. Still quite ill. Um, but... Going to the concert yesterday was, it, 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 I don't know, it just, it just, I just feel a lot better after it, which is great. Um, let's talk about that. It was an insane experience. It was fantastic. I mean, it was quite expensive <laughs> uh, being at the, the first BTS concert in London. Um, if you don't know who BTS is, it's, 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 it's a K-pop band. It's the biggest one out there right now. Uh, they've just, oh, I mean, that's okay, considering that uh, we can Lele for a Kiawe, which is our strategy anyway, considering we got judged there. But anyway, they're, they're one of the biggest bands, if not the biggest uh, K-pop band, uh, and they're breaking through in the West right now. Um, and they've never come to London before. They've never come to, I don't think they've ever come to Europe before, I'm not too sure. Um, but they, they've gone to US and stuff a few times before in their Wings tour, which is the tour before this one. Um, and yeah, so they, they announced they were coming to London, and me and Joe were like, we've got to go. More Joe, because Joe was a huge fan. Um, yeah, Joe was like, we've got to go. And I was like, yeah, yeah, we, we, we're going to literally do everything we can to go. Um, another Ranguru? No, let's get a Cubone. Uh, by the way, the reason why I have Cubone is because we have a load of Marabak for the late game energy acceleration if things start to um, go south. However, I think I put the wrong one in. Ah, I did. I was thinking I, was, I wanted to get the one from the, um, the one that says accelerate energy from the discard pile, but... Oh, well, we can work with that. <laughs> See, this is why I got to figure, like, maybe play a game of a deck before I just jump into a video. <coughs> but, uh, right, let's go for the term. Ooh, no, might as well run Guru, right? Might as well. A Cynthia. Great, okay. So let's go for a term on Kiawe here. We're just going to whack all these energies onto a magma. Um, hopefully, we have an escape board next turn with our Cynthia so we can retreat. Um, but, yeah. Where was I at? Where was I at? Um, it, was, it was a great experience, definitely. And it's their first time coming to London. So the tickets sold out, I think, in like 10 to 25 minutes. Um, I know it's quite a big time gap, but everything was like going crashing and everything, so it's impossible to tell. But 40,000 40, tickets sold that quickly. Um, it was insane how fast it went. And we were sitting there panicking, trying our best to at least get two, two tickets anywhere. We didn't care. We were like, okay, we just want tickets. Obviously, we wanted to get VIP, but we were like... If we can't get VIP, we don't care, we're getting anything. So we got the first thing that popped up, which was general admission standing. So we we're in the standings, which is great in its own merit because you're like right in front of them. Like we weren't that far off the stage. So when they came to the front part of the stage, because there's two sections, there was the, um, the main section of the stage and there's a little walkway and then there's a little front part. Um, and they, they did use the stage quite well, actually. But when they went to the front part of the stage, um, you, could see, you could see their facial features. Like they, they were really, really, really close. Um, and it was really great seeing them. Let's get a Turtonator out for the GX attack later on. Um, oh, I should have a Ranguru to see. I'm, I'm, I'm going so quickly. I'm going so quickly. Right. I'm going to attach an energy here in case we need to retreat next turn. And I'm going to get a Kiawe and Choice Band. Okay, no, Kakui and Choice Band. And get myself a Magmortar. So it's, a lot, it's harder to knock out, right? I don't want to lose that many energy on a Magma. Um... And I guess we go for that around Guru and hope we hit something that can help us um, get this Magmortar in the active. Okay, we've got a Guzma, which is great. Um, 
Now we want them to get themselves a Bennett GX out ASAP because we will one shot that. Um, because what we could do is we can 80, discard two energy, do another 80, and that would be 160, choice spam 190. We're knocking out one of these bad boys if they evolve. So hopefully they evolve this turn and we can get something going. Uh, they're not going to Guzma, so our Magmorta is safe. Um, what have they got? Have they got it? Have they got it? I want them to have it. Um, oh, wait. No, we don't one shot because of Dung Bells. Right. Ah, oh, that's tough. That's real tough. Um, but yeah, all in all, a fantastic experience being able to see them up close like that. Um, I think one, we actually met a few people. One of them caught one of the water bottles they threw out. So they were, they were like buzzing about that. <laughs> they were buzzing. They were seriously buzzing about that. I don't really want to just one shot things like that are one prizes. But I, I, I'll be honest with you, that's going to be a tough one to fight with dumbbells so we're just going to take this out um and just go from there another energy great so we can attach that so next turn we have another fire blaster attack oh wait i don't have to discard oh yeah i don't have to oh that's even better than i thought i thought i had to discard i'm so stupid i'm so stupid <laughs> what's wrong with me? <coughs> um this is basically type of buddha's attack less less damage um <clears throat> But the discard makes it kind of similar damage. It's a bit weird how it works. But yeah, um, the, the concert again. Um, yeah, being that close was great. However, queuing for almost 8 to 10 hours was insane. It was insane. Because um, I was told that people are going to be queuing even overnight like to get there. Like it, it, There's so much hype behind this concert. Um, and if we want a good, a decent spot where we're standing, because if you're standing, you can have to go all the way to the back or you can get closer to the front, right? You, you want to be closer to the front. Um, so like, if you need a good spot, you're going to need to go in early. So we got there around about 8.20 in the morning. And bear in mind, the doors opened at 5 p.m. So we were queuing. We went in three different queues. We went in the first queue, which was a, it was a queue for the queue. <laughs> and that's when we got there at 8.20, by the way. So the queues were still huge at that point. Um, and then we got in the, the third queue, which was the one where uh, the, the primary queue, the one where we stayed in the longest, because that was actually a queue for the entrance. Um, so we got in there and we stayed there for most of the day, just sitting down doing nothing almost um and then we went into the uh the, the actual queue for the tickets where we then got a ticket scanned and then did security and then got in um and we met so we met a few people in the first queue and we just hung out with them for the rest of the day pretty much um and they're some awesome people as well like they come from different parts of the country as well which is great um so we met some awesome people which was really fun uh we got the knockout on the bonnets yes we do so they take the burn um they lose to them. It doesn't matter. We're, we're one-shotting them. Uh, I really shouldn't have committed that energy onto this Magmorta. I should have put it on the Magma because if we can manually charge one whilst we're here, it saves a lot of problems. However, no, no, we'll do this. We'll play it safe. Yeah. And now we discard. So we get the one-shot. Um, <clears throat> if this stays alive, we have another attack next turn, which is great. So... Uh, yeah, there we go. We've got an escape rope as well, so we don't have to worry too much about things. Um, what is this? Just got the top of your opponent's deck. So that's, I mean, that's a decent one energy attack. Um, but yeah, the concert was great. Met some awesome people. The waiting was insane. Like, uh, this is this is, well, this is the great thing about BTS, right? Is I'm a big fan of them anyway, right? So their music, I, I think it gets to me a lot anyway. It's really good, really good stuff. Um, so when I got in there, I was so tired, so exhausted, because I only had like two hours sleep the night before. I was too excited. I had almost no food and almost no water during the day. So I was like the, the, the limit of my, of my body. I was sitting there like, I'm going to just die. Soon I'm just going to drop. Because <laughs> um, it was that, that insane for me. Um, I think we're going to get a load of Marowak out this turn. Yeah. They're burned, so they can uh, take some nice damage counters whilst we're doing that. There we go. Um, this deck is proving to be pretty deep. Oh, don't attack yet. Chill out, mate. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. We can, we can use our stuff. Um, we could... Get, I, I know I could evolve into Magmortar, but I want to get these back in deck. Um, let's just play safe here. We're going to discard a Tatanalyzer and a Turtonator and get ourselves another Magma. There we go. We only have one Magmortar. We've priced two Magmortars. That's scary. That's very scary. Go for Lily. We have the Tatanalyzer for a Switch. We also have Escape Rope for Switch. So that's okay. Uh, might as well evolve if we're here, right? Um, and let's go for the Limbo Limbo. And get two energy onto this Magmorta here. I mean, we could get another one. Hit that. That's risky. Um, and then we can actually Guzma up into a Lele and knock it out. And I mean, if this gets knocked out by the end of the next turn, no, it doesn't. <laughs> but say, if it gets knocked out, then we just got win. But um, 
yeah, so I, I'm, I'm losing track of four because I'm constantly switching between the game and the, <laughs> talk about the BTS concert. I'll probably make a video talking about it, but either way, it was a fantastic experience. Met some awesome people. Um, and let me, let me let me actually finish the sentence I was saying, and then I'll, well, we'll, we'll get actually focusing on the game a bit more. But um, yeah, I was exhausted. Eight, uh, two hours sleep, standing around for eight to ten hours doing nothing, barely having any food or water. Um, got into the concert and like it was taking a while to actually start there so i think they're supposed to start showing at eight and we got in there at like 5 30 so we was already standing around in the standing um area for just two hours two and a half hours straight just sitting there like listening to some bts songs that they were playing in the background um the crowd was still great though the crowd was still fantastic but um it was yeah it was being quite patient but definitely being patient um but nonetheless uh, it turned out that one of the members got injured during a warm-up um, before the show, so they were having problems there. And I was like, okay, that makes sense then why they're taking a while. Um, but yeah, I, I felt exhausted. I was like, I'm going to collapse. But then as soon as they came on, oh my God, all of that just went away. Like, it was fantastic. I just sat there and I just enjoyed the music. And, and we actually got these, these little things, like a BTS uh, army bomb, they're called. Kind of ironic calling it a something bomb when you're in the O2 arena. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, we, we managed to uh, see them live and it, it all went away. The energy they gave was insane. Like, it was it was incredible. Like, it just took all, all of that exhaustion I had away. So I just enjoyed the whole night. Felt a lot better, actually, afterwards. Came home and just slept. I was like, I'm out. I'm out of it. And then I had, like, a 10-hour sleep, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Um, but, yeah, great experience. I'll probably make a video on it. Um, I don't know if I'll put it on this channel or, or on another channel. I'm not too sure. Now, we need fire energy because what we can do is we can get Terminator GX out and uh we can start accelerating energy back into play which would be a really really good shout so if we get some energy here now i'm sitting here thinking do you know what that's the we did we drew an energy oh beautiful i don't know why i played tapu coco i think i was going to play dce in this deck but i don't know why i played tapu coco hmm, quite strange uh we could go for a little uh cheeky escape rotate and liza play right but is that really worth it kind of want them to attack me with the binet because that won't knock me out right let's gx here let's get some energy back into play we're gonna go here here uh here i mean this is basically the same attack as bright flame uh bright flame is 160 discard two energy this is you can do 160 and you can discard two energy but you can do 80 without discarding so fire blaster is actually better than bright flame think about that right a non-GX Pokemon has an ability that causes burn and then an attack that is exactly the same as a GX Pokemon, but you don't have to discard and you can do slightly less damage. Like it gives you a, it gives you a better option. So I'm baffled why Magmortar has such a great attack <laughs> in comparison to Turtonator GX, right? Kind of crazy. Um, so yeah, when, I, when Magmortar first came out in Ultra Prism, I was like, this is a good card. I mean, the awkward part is the energy acceleration bit, but... Like, that's a good card. <laughs> so I don't know why no one really took it on, even even myself included. I think just dealing with the uh, energy discards and stuff, if you do discard, it is just a bit much. But, I mean, having a card that is all-in-one, a two-shot or a one-shot Pokemon, I think is really something good. I think it's something really... That needs to be looked into a bit more. Um, I'm sure it has... I'm 100% sure it has potential, especially in the Shrine format, right? My Shrine is everywhere. What attack was that? Oh, was that the Delcati? Ah. The thing is now, the awkward part is that if they go for a Guzma, we've got two fully charged up one-shot Pokemon right now. Um, <coughs> if we get Choice Band. So, um, no matter who they Guzma up, I think if we get the Choice Band, we win. So, I think they kind of have to sit here and kind of choose what is the best option, but at the same time, it's kind of awkward, right? Um, but we've really just like turboed through this uh this Bennett deck just started smacking everything now garbador is a bit of a problem uh although 120 yeah okay about to say because like if they go into the garbador they lose right because they would still have 160 hp so we desperately desperately need a choice band actually no i've got a game i've got a game escape probe because any of these Pokemon here are one shots for me without a choice band because of this bad boy. So I think we got a game. Now, I know this video might have been a bit 
mumble jumble considering i went from speaking about two different topics like talking about the game and also talking about my experience going to the bts concert um but it was just something i wanted to talk about here with you guys because anything i experienced was great i want to share with you um but other than that let's actually go to the deck list i'll tell you tell you a bit more about the deck and talk a bit more about it there so at least you can get something out of this video other than me just rambling <laughs> whilst playing a game in the background because it sounded it felt more like that than me actually paying attention to the game so uh, I'm, I'm aware of that and uh, we'll go into the list so i created this list just now um don't know why i put it tapu coco put in the wrong alola marowak but it turned out to be very useful um turtonator was really good that, that did its job magmorta is let's just talk about magmorta for a second okay it's 130 HP, which means it's not it's not too easy to knock out unless, if, let's say for a Zorak, it has to have Devoured Field to get the knockout. Um, so if we play that stadium, <clears throat> that um, I don't have it, but if we if I trade and play play that stadium that prevents um, Burn going away, then that would be fantastic because hitting into Magmorta, Burn did come into play quite a bit there. Um, I don't think it made too much of a difference. Because I think when it came into play, it didn't really make the numbers hit. But the great thing is, right, think about this. Is you have your Magmorta out, <clears throat> and it's fully charged up. You have a choice band that you're against a GX Pokemon, like Burnett, let's say, right? Burnett hits into you, um, and let's say they haven't got the 130. Let's say they've got 100 or something, right? Or it's a GX that can't one-shot you. Then they are burned. Right, here's a good example. You're playing Zorak. Zorak doesn't have Devoured Field. Zorak hits you for 120. You have 10 HP left. <laughs> they have been burned by you for 20 damage. Okay? That burn goes away. They've got 20, 20 damage on them now. They are now at 190 HP. That's great. Why? Because with a choice ban, you're hitting 190. So you could one-shot a Zorak if it hits into you, which makes your opponent quite scared to attack you, considering they're probably going to be aware of those numbers. So it makes it a bit awkward for them, in a sense where if they want to knock you out, they could lose Big time, right? You could, you could be, they could be trading away two prizes um, themselves by only taking one. So Magmorta provides a lot of pressure for some top tier cards. Um, it can one shot top tier cards. Like Rayquaza would chew through Magmorta, doesn't care. But 190 will mean that, look, if you chew through my Magmorta, if I get one out on you, you're still gone, right? So you can just one shot a, a Rayquaza. So it one shots Pokemon that are good against you um, and Pokemon that um, aren't so necessarily great against you. Um, that are high HP and you can't one shot, you can definitely still hit some good numbers or go for two shot options. So like, it's a really, really, really awesome concept. Uh, plus it hits metal Pokemon for weakness. So uh, Metagross, Solgaleo is going to struggle against this, which is great because that's one deck a lot of shrine decks struggle against. Um, a lot of decks struggle against Metagross because if it sets up, it's almost impossible to beat. So this will take down Metagross quite easily. Uh, all in all, it just seems like a very decent very decent card so this is the list i put around the card anyway um let me know your thoughts if there's anything you would do to this list would you like to explore my motor a bit more i think it is a very underrated card um other than that let me know if you did enjoy this video sorry for it being a bit too rambly i hope you do uh, forgive me there <laughs> but anyway i'll leave you to it thank you very much for watching and peace